welcome to my youtube channel this is prof one yt and please if this is your first time watching my youtube video please check the subscription and subscribe for more videos so this is another video continuation with the differential equation this is general and particular solution for first order differential equation so as seen we have when you go to the uh, reduction that we have two methods that is the homogeneous and the transformation so today we are going to talk about the transformation so this is uh this video tutorial will be done by my sister and she comes with a nice name so what's your name Frenesis. Frenesis. so Frenesis, take over yeah thank you so much for the opportunity so guys we are continuing with um our aim of understanding more about differential equation so before we start with the transformation i want to remind you that there are different ways of approaching differential equations so we we have um spoken about the other methods the separable and then the homogeneous in other videos so you have to go and watch that before you watch this so we are coming to do the transformation method so with a transformation you'll be given a question that isn't homogeneous okay so a transfer let's let's listen a transformation equation m of what s and y and then n of s and y are linear but not homogeneous so you have to keep that in mind not homogeneous so transformation okay our target is that because we will be given an equation that isn't homogeneous if we want to be able to solve such an equation we have to reduce it for it to become homogeneous okay so there are steps in doing that and that's what we are going to talk about so let's assume we've been given this question a1 s plus b1 y plus c1 dx plus a2 s plus b2 y plus c2 dy equals to zero so there are two cases involved okay in the transformation method case one is you have to check the ratio of a2 on a1 okay and also the ratio of b2 on b1 and then you equate it if you realize that they are not equal then we are dealing with case one problem so this is it a2 on a1 yeah a1 yes so it, we are going to correct it's a2 on a1 right yes is it a1 a2 on a1 a1 yes okay so a1 and not equal to not equal b2 to b2 on b1 okay so this is b2 yes uh b2 on, on b1. b1 okay sure so when you check it and you realize that they are not equal then we are dealing with case one so with the case one you first have to take the a1s plus b1y plus c1 and a2s plus b2y plus c2 and solve them simultaneously you understand the reason why you need to solve them simultaneously later so first of all remember take those two expressions and then you solve them simultaneously to get s and y the values of small s and the and small y after getting that the answers you get okay is the coordinate h comma k so h will what be equivalent to the value that you get for s and then k will be equivalent to the value you get for y when you finish you put it in the equation small s equal to so you will insert it right you will insert the h into the small s equal to big s plus h and then insert the y okay or the k that you have found into small y equal to big y plus k so um let me come in more so uh thank you very much yeah yeah oh, oh, oh. so i really understand it from this so now we are going to take an example and we'll try to um solve it so that you understand it based on the example that we did so she's going to take over again so let's continue okay sure the reason why you have to um insert it in the small s big s plus h is because we want to reduce just as i said earlier you want to reduce the equation to what homogeneous and if you remember when we we're dealing with homogeneous you have to substitute something so that we can do what 
um, the separation and then finish with it. So this example, 5s plus 2y plus 1 dx plus 2s plus y plus 1 dx, du equal to 0. So the first thing, we have to what, solve them simultaneously. So you get the equations out, you solve them simultaneously to get the value of s and y. And if you don't know how to use the calculator to solve this simultaneously, watch the video that is coming. Sure, that's wonderful. So we will work on a video where you will be taught on how to use the calculator to solve equations simultaneously. So let's continue. So the answers that you will get out of the simultaneous equation, which is the s equal to 1, and then the y equal to negative 3. So now remember, the s answer becomes what? H. And the y answer becomes what? K. So you put it in the... Um, equation s equal to s big s plus h and then y equal to what big y plus h so that's what we've done after that you substitute it into the original or the main equation that you were given after doing this then you expand so um, um so for me to understand it there's a difference between the small s and the y and yes. the big s so yes. we have the small s and the uh, sure. Big S, right? Yes. Okay, sure, 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 sure. 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 Okay, okay. So, let's continue. Yes. So, after you've been able to insert the big Y and then the big S into the equation, it has been turned into homogeneous now. You understand? Yes. So, you now use the method of homogeneous to continue. So, here, we will insert what big Y equal to V times what big X. What's big S? And then you would differentiate the big Y equal to the big X, right? Yes. So you will get... So as in the normal uh, separation of methods, that's the separation of variables, mm -hmm. as in dy is equal to dx dv plus uh, v dx. So now the dx, or uh, the x becomes capital X dv, yes. and the, uh, the v becomes small v dx. Yes, yes. Okay, sure. So now we try to substitute them. So now we are replacing with the x plus 1 and the y minus 3 from the previous equation given to us. So now we need to substitute in with um, the, we try to make sure that the equation is being reduced to a linear form. And we have this, right? So yeah. after getting this, we have the dy here. So we need to substitute it with the dy, which is the capital X dv plus v dx. And when you do that correctly, you're going to get, um, this is it. This has been substituted already. That's, we have the vx, which represents the what? The capital Y. Sure. And uh, we can place that inside very well. So when you do that correctly, now you try to substitute uh, the x or expand or factorize the x out so that we can have the x values, sure. this one. So when you do that correctly, you're going to get this. So when you substitute the uh, the x value out, you are going to what? Divide through by x. When you divide through by x, the x value will go away. So now that's why with this equation, the x value is going away, right? Now let's move on. So when you do that correctly, now we are now we are going to replace it with the dy, which is when you look from this equation, we have the dy here. So now the dy is now capital S dv plus V dx. So when you see this one, we have the dy being replaced by that. And after that, you try to expand this, right? And when you try to expand it correctly, this is what you get because this is going to, it's like binomial. So you take one, multiply that, you take one, multiply that. And when you do that correctly, you're going to get this form. That is, you try to what? Factorize the S out again, right? Now the S is out and you get this, V squared. So now what you do now is that you group the DX at one side and you group the V at one side. That's the same method for the separable uh, methods, right? So you do that correctly. You have... You group them, that is the dx on one side and the dv on one side. Mm -hmm. And when you do that correctly, you're going to get this because you're going to add in the mean squared dx plus x dv. But now it's not yet. We need to make sure that the x goes to the x and the y, um, the v goes to the y. So that's what we do now. You divide you by 1 over x to get rid of this x. So when you divide you by 1 over x and you divide you with 5 plus 4 plus v squared. At the end, this is what you're going to get. That is, you're going to get 1 over x plus this dv. So you group them in the x and the v. Yes, so you should come again. So with the uh, integration, when you integrate it in your normal way, 
actually when you watch this video you can try to integrate it after integration and you substitute in with your vein value as you know that the vein now is what you can make vein the subject here which will give you y over x, x. so oh thank you very much so um hello do you have anything to say to our subscribers or our viewers so before we end the video just remember an easy way to solve case one is that number one when you realize that it is not homogeneous but it is linear so you have to what do simultaneous equation after that then you insert your big s and your big y after that then you you do the normal way of solving homogeneous by putting in big y equal to the big x so after doing everything you have to remember that we are supposed to present the answer in small s and small y yeah. so you have to do a second substitution yeah. so don't forget that and then continue to watch prof's <laughs> video and you will be intelligent <laughs> as he is he's very intelligent <laughs> You're going to learn how to use the calculator to solve simultaneous equation on the question we solved. So, um, how we got s to be equal to 1 and y we got negative 3. So, on your calculator, when you tap your calculator, you can see that there's, um, on your calculator you're using, when you tap, you see equation. You go to equation, which is 5, and after you go to, um, you select, I think, 1. Yeah, by here they've written, here they've written, uh, I think solve yes solve system equation with two unknowns right so that's where you go so in your calculator you go to one and you type so when you put in this one it will show up so if you can see we have something that has appeared here very nicely so to show up so what you do is now is you put in the value the a the a is the x value um the b is a y value and the c you must be equal to that so you must send the if you can see the equation you must send the c at the uh, the other side so you have five you have two and you have negative one for the c and the second equation you have two you have one and negative one so when you do that correctly you press equal to that is they've given the answer to be um as you can see that s is what one and you press another equal to and y is what negative three